What's up, there for world? Guys, this video is going to be a little bit different than what you guys are used to. As you know, I told you in the last Friday Night Live, I was heading out to uh, Betty Knox to see what was going to happen down here. And uh, as soon as I got here, <laughs> my stabilizer quit working on me. So this video is going to be a little shaky, but we're going to get through it. All right, uh, let's see where we're going to start. Betty Knox. Guys, back in the... If you guys got to definitely look this story up. Uh, it happened back in the 1800s, early 1900s. This is like ground zero. This, is, this ain't going to work. What's going on, Bigfoot World? I'm back out here, guys. On this trip, it's going to be a little bit different. For one, my stabilizer died, and I didn't even get started yet. But uh, I'm down here at Betty Knox. Now, if you are not a member on my Facebook page, in, Into the Woods with Jeff, then you probably don't know the story of Betty Knox. You can Google it up yourself. Um, Betty Knox in Dunbar, Pennsylvania. It's a crazy, crazy story. Um, the basics of the story is there was a woman that lived here with her dad. This is like the ground that she lived on right here. And... Uh, her and her dad would like load up their supplies or whatever and they would put load it up on an ox and head out this trail and go up on the other side of that mountain to the powder mill and uh, they'll trade their goods off for whatever I have no idea maybe it's in the story when you look it up but they would trade their goods off then after a while her dad got sick and she kept on making the trip like, I don't know if it was once a week, once a month, or whatever. But she would load up the ox by herself and take off down this trail up over the other side of that mountain and trade off her goods. And then one day she came up missing, all right? On her trip over this mountain, she came up missing. And uh, I guess hundreds of people came out to search search for her. And uh, they couldn't find her. No remains, no, no clues, no nothing. She just disappeared. And then uh, I guess a month later, they found her ox tied to a tree in an area that they already searched. The ox was dead, of course, but still, that's something something to think about. Now, on my end of the story, guys, that mountain right here, this very mountain, on top of that mountain is uh, Bigfoot land, Moy land. It's where I filmed Bigfoot in, in, the, in the hole, the maze. Guys, this mountain is where it's at. I'm not saying that that's what happened to Betty Knox, but I'm not saying that it ain't, you know what I mean? But uh, this is gonna be a bumpy ride, a bumpy video, because my stabilizer just died on me. This area is known to be haunted. It's documented to be haunted. The last time I was out here, it was me and Fred, and I, we had a couple girls out here. And where we park at, well, we was getting ready to leave. I was getting ready to pull out. And uh, I seen a red vehicle coming. We, me and Fred both seen the red vehicle pulling in. So I stopped to let it come in and nothing ever came. So when I pulled out around, that red vehicle wasn't even there. It was it was just like it disappeared. It was weird. Now I'm looking in the mud. I see print. I see a print. But uh, guys, the, what got me out here, I was talking to an old head of mine at work and he asked me, we were kind of talking about things to go bump in the night. And he's not a real Bigfoot enthusiast. He don't really talk about it or, or much or any of that. But he said he was coming up this creek that I'm walking up this game trail beside it. He said, follow it out. He come out here early in the mornings and hunt turkey. And uh, 
he would always feel like something was watching him as he's walking out this game trail right here from up on the banks. And he said when he come back through, he would see like 16 to 18 inch long, five inches wide footprints coming down through here. And he said he knows that there's no people out here walking barefooted. And he said he just don't come out here no more because of that. Every time, he said it, it never fails. He always sees the, the foot, they're not there coming in, but coming back out, he'll see them where they were following him up. That's beautiful. Sorry to shake you guys. I'm gonna try to keep on following this game trail, but it's getting close to that creek. Another thing about this creek, guys, what the what you don't know to fill you in real quick. At the end of the road is the game commission station, and uh, they come here and they stock this. They stock this full trout every year, and. You're allowed to come here and fish, but you're not allowed to take anything. It's more of a catch and release. Why are they stocking this? Why are they feeding them? You know what I mean? There's a lot of questions to this, but this is beautiful. I'm gonna try to stabilize this as much as I can. Cause I know it's gonna be shaky as all hell. Looks like I'm walking into a dead end. I'd like to get on that side. That side is where my mountain is. That's really where I wanna be. But I don't see no way of getting over. Another thing that I keep on thinking about that I remember, up on top of that mountain, I found a big pile of freshwater clam. And on top of that mountain, it's about four miles up, five miles up to get to the top. I know there's no Bigfoot carrying like maybe two gallons of clam up the side of this mountain and just putting it up against a tree, piling it up against a tree. I'm not trying to fall in there. It would be a nasty, nasty disaster. If I fall in there right now, oh my God, what was that? A rock just flew in. A rock just dropped in. As soon as I stepped over that, a rock dropped right there. A rock came down and dropped. I didn't see it, but I heard it behind me. It's like that caught me off guard. I already see that there's a rock right here, but a rock just came down. There's a rock over there laying too. That, I didn't expect that. So they're saying there's something up here. What sucks is the picture is perfect, but uh, the shakiness sucks. Guys, I hope you, you don't have a seizure watching my video. This sucks so bad. I wish my stabilizer worked because this is beautiful. I see the X over there. That's got the power to it. That's just so beautiful. Pennsylvania is a beautiful place. There's no way I'm gonna get over there. Damn, that still freaked me out. That rock.
need it on the other side. There's no way I'm gonna get this. Look at this. It's all slippery. I needed this though. This is so stress relieving. I needed this more than anything. Not sure what to make of it, but I see an imprint. Now, see, I don't under, I don't know. If he's talking about following the game trail on this side or that side of the river or the creek, should I say? This is Dunbar Creek. See the game trail picks back up right here. Now I know there's bear, black bear to come down here and feed all of these trout. I don't know what section of this creek, but they've been seen down here, which is understandable. There's a marker up there. This is gonna be so shaky. I'm gonna try to stabilize it as much as I can on the on the computer, but guys, I just didn't want to not come all the way out here and not film anything. I wanted to come out here and check things out. You definitely want to Google the story of Betty Knox, guys, of Dunbar, Pennsylvania. A fascinating story. This is right here is where where it happened. Right where she lived, where where she loaded her ox up and headed up over that mountain. Her rock there is out of the ordinary, just laying there out on top of the leaves. I see anything out there. I might just try to shoot up straight up there because it's running into a dead end over there. I see. I'm not trying to get hung up. So uh, stay tuned, guys. I'm going to climb up, see what happens. Guys, I made it up to the top of this hill, and this thing was sitting here. I'm not sure what it is. If you know what this is, guys, leave it in the comments. On the side of it, it says uh, Sea Diver. It's opened on each end. I've never seen anything like this. I don't know, is it a crab cage or crab catcher or whatever? Leave it in the comments if you know what that is. But uh, I've climbed all the way up to the top. As you see the creek down there. I'm gonna go this way. 
Let me get this front out the stabilizer. The stabilizer came on for a second and shut right back off. So like I said, this place is got some paranormal to it for sure. It's got a lot of history, not just Betty Knox, but there's a lot of things that happen out here. There's people came out here parking at the end of the dirt road and things happen to them. There's just a lot going on in this area. Bodies dumped. There's just numerous, numerous encounters out here. Numerous things that happen out here. I'm trying to say. But uh, that tree pulled up by the ground, by the root, and just laid across there. On the other side, you see that clear spot. That's a very narrow stretch trying to get across that. Bear with me, guys. I hope I don't fall, man. I don't need to be falling out here. That's just, that thing's in a weird spot, nonetheless. Uh, on the bank side of this. Look at that structure. The bigger part of it up there, the tree is just up there away. I see some imprints here too, as well. He did talk about where it was off back here. Cross over and follow up the main part. I think I am on the right side. If I remember his details correct. I mean, I, I know the area. So when he told me, I kind of pictured it in my head. It's just getting back down there. It's steep. It's almost straight up and down, guys. As you see, it's straight up and down. There's a runner here along this bank with all these massive trees. It might get easier on the other side here. Definitely seeing some mark up here on the ground. This ground's all tore up here. Even subtle things like this. There's a wall built here. There's a print. As soon as you step over this log and look. Okay, there is a way down here. It's blocked off. Bigfoot got this stuff all blocked up. And I definitely know it's them. You see how these logs are laid, how they're placed? They did this for sure, without a doubt. These was piled up right here. Ain't no doubt about that. 
old logs like this, they was definitely piled up here to block this roadway down to the creek for some reason. Sorry it's so shaky, guys. My stabilizer crapped out on me, man. I wish it worked, because this is beautiful out right here. This ain't what I'm used to. All this beautiful moss in the water. It's amazing. Trying to hold it as steady as I can, and the more I try, the worse it gets. So I'm just gonna wing it, guys. Just bear with me, man. There's a lot of dead trees going across here. Sorry about the sun. Trying to keep the sun out of it. The sun's rising. Look how beautiful that is, man. I know you say, well, stop checking long enough so I can see the shit. That's beautiful, guys. Seeing them tree sticks lined up on that log over here. They're lined up on both sides, looks like. I see his footprint right there. I see it clearly. Very clearly. That's definitely a toes and everything. See something right there, guys. You see it? Sitting in there behind the X. The black mass up there. She's sitting on, looking down over, walking over.
I'm gonna keep an eye on it. See what happens. You see it. There ain't too many trails at all through here. It's like it's all virgin land pretty much. But too soon there's one shooting out this way. This is amazing. Somebody's been out here. Mark on that tree. It's an old tree. This place is amazing. Look at that. That's bark hanging up there. To be dried out. About to jerk my back out. That jolted me. I slipped off that log.
2014, 2011. in their prints down there. I don't want to keep walking through here shaking. Guys, I'm gonna kick it off and walk on up through. If anything happens, I'll be quick to turn it back on, guys. Stay tuned. thing moving. It caught my eye up there. That's why I stopped and looked at it and it just sat there right now. It's about half a mile up. I ain't never gonna make it up there. But uh stay tuned guys, I'm gonna keep it moving. For the most part down here, it's quiet. I think most of the activity goes on down here is in the nighttime when they come down and fish and drink or whatever and head back up to Bigfoot land. I took a couple pictures along the way of like structures that I've seen. Like that one, I should take a picture of. But I guess it's on film. But I'm gonna go ahead and kick it off, guys. It, this video is already shit. So uh, if anything happens, I'll jump it on real quick. Stay tuned.
do that I 